We got the Christian, the soul of God himself, the outspoken believer in Jesus, the man who wants to convert all of us, your friendly hood. Now your friendly hood. How's it going, man? Did you just call me the sword of God? That's badass, dude. I that's know. That's badass. <laughs> that's, such a, that's such a good title. I wish, yeah. I wish I came up with that. You know, I'm going to add it to the list. You ever look at the titles. about page on my YouTube channel? This is what it says. I'll read it to you. Okay. My name is Nui Sands, and welcome to your friendly hood. The number one. It's spelled number one. Christian YouTuber. Here are some words that are used to describe me. Now are you ready? Are you ready to listen to the words used to describe me? Please yeah. enlighten us. Homophobic. Based. Hey! Hateful. Based. Based. Racist demagogue. Absolutely Based. fucking great. Villain. Based. Hey! Horrible representative of Christianity. <laughs> <laughs> Liar. Jesus Based. Christ. False prophet. <laughs> Base? Anti free speech. Hypocrite. <laughs> Based? Sicko. <laughs> Based? <laughs> Ignorant. <laughs> Based? <laughs> Narcissistic. <laughs> Based? Tied to Hollywood Jews. Oh my fuck. Extra base. Which is totally <laughs> fake news, by the way. And the oh, last yeah. one is Mickey Mouse Gangster. When I was a wee lad, like a literal child, I was raised up in, in, a, in a Catholic household, you know. I lived with my uh, my grandparents. They were very devout Catholics, you know. They, they took me to uh, to the CCD. Eventually, what I realized, right, is that everything that they're, they're talking about here is just like total bullshit. I'm asking the teacher questions based on amazing atheist videos that I watched, <laughs> or like, <laughs> like who else? was big at the time thunderfoot cosmic scout you know like 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 retarded awful takes from like youtubers that i was watching online yeah. and i'm bringing it to class what about evolution if god real if god real why bad thing happened <laughs> yeah yeah shit like that and I would bring it up to uh, the teachers here who were like 20 something. Like, I didn't realize at the time, but they're like 20 something. They don't even like really know half the shit they're talking about. They don't know anything about like uh, what the Bible actually says. So they're like totally unable to answer any of these questions. This uh, led me to uh, fall away from the faith. You know, I was like, you know what? This Christian shit kind of cringe, kind of gay, oh kind of kind of not based pilled, right? Oh, I'm okay. talking about 2012. I was just a little kid and I'm being uh, indoctrinated by uh, people online that are telling me God not real. Um, if God real, why bad thing happened? Uh, you know, the Bible is so silly and uh, it's full of these uh, sick stories and all this. Like all these like if God lies. Real, if God real, then why priests straight children? Stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, shit like that. But eventually around, I'd say 2018, 2019, 2020, I began to notice that following this hedonistic atheistic satanic worldview was leading my life to completely fall apart in every single way and i was like why do i want to kill myself hmm hmm. <laughs> <Fucking hell, man. laughs> hmm why do i want to kill myself why do i hate waking up in the morning why do i wish i was dead when i woke up in the morning so i start doing a lot of research right i start you know uh, really getting into psychology i'm like oh is there something wrong with me am i a psychopath am i a sociopath right and eventually the conclusion that i came to like it, it, it was pretty long time that i spent doing this but what the conclusion i ended up coming to is that you started a cult yeah i started a cult basically <laughs> no nah, but uh all the answers to uh most of the questions that people are asking in this like nihilist society after you know disproving god all the questions that we're left with can be uh answered by just returning to the thing that we allegedly disproved so that that is basically uh, my journey i guess or whatever if you read the bible it very clearly says don't listen to people don't listen to like religion to anybody who's an atheist you know that says like oh religion is just invented to control people why does it say right here this is in james chapter one it says this if any of you lack wisdom let him ask god that gives to all men abundantly and does not take away and it will be given to him. Why doesn't it say, you know, lis listen to the church, listen to the church, listen to the cult leader, 
Why does it say, ask God directly? What's going on? What's going on here? Every religion, even atheists really, believe there's a God, right? They also believe that God's gonna judge the world, right? And good people are going to some kind of heaven and bad people are going to some kind of hell. What all religions also share, where we are right now, we're probably not going to be making it into heaven. And so every religion has like their own little answer to the this conundrum. And none of them are like really sufficient. Like it always boils down to, hey, start doing some good things to outweigh your bad things. And maybe you'll do enough good things that God might let you into heaven. But what Christianity offers is it offers an answer that you cannot find in any other religion, which is that this God who's so far above of us who you know created us who's going to judge the world based on our actions right that every religion believes in they, they might call him a different name but that this god came down to earth and did all the good things for me to get into heaven what the bible says right is that if anyone believes in jesus you're going to heaven not because you did something he took the punishment for all the evil deeds you did so you're going to heaven because you can't go to hell jesus already went to hell for you that's the gospel and if you believe in that you're going to go to heaven no matter what that's just a reoccurring message throughout the entire bible it's like stop trusting yourself stop trusting these wise men these philosophers because none of them have the answers trust god that's the answer throughout the, the whole bible that's the message is that you can't even make your own heart beat you can't even make your own lungs breathe. Like, you, like God is the one permitting you to get up in the morning. He's the one that allows you to like physically just exist and not just have all of your atoms fly apart from your body. So if you can't even do like the littlest thing, like make your heart beat without God's help, how are you going to do something as big as getting into heaven? How are you going to do something as big as, you know, anything really without God's help? So the, the whole message of the Bible is just rely on God. Rely not on your own understanding. Pray to God about everything. Yeah. It's very hard to live by the Bible. Like, honestly, think back and try to remember the last time that you went like an entire month without telling a lie, even if it was just a small one. Like, it, it is very hard to live perfectly. It's impossible to live perfectly. On your own? It's, it's very hard to live righteously. But you can do all things for God who strengthens you, man. And few people mm -hmm. will accept that. Few people will understand. Few people will, uh, you know, truly get it. That, like, you can just rely on God. That is the message of the Bible. Let go of your own life. Let him take the wheel. When you're following Satan, when you're following sin, you are not actually a free person. You're not actually, like, achieving your own will, your own goals when you're in this, like, mind trap of focusing on yourself. Is a drug addict yeah. really free? Like, you might think, like, oh, the drug addict, oh, he's doing what he wants with his life. He's, uh, snorting coke. I was like, is he really? Like, yeah, like, is a heroin addict quit. really free? It's like he, all he does is he gets up in the morning, looks at his life and sees how depressing it is. And he injects a needle into his arm, pukes, passes out, wakes up a couple hours later in a puddle of his own puke. And it's like, what the fuck is going on with my life? I'm a piece of shit. I hate myself. Let me inject the needle into my arm to stop feeling bad about my life. Pukes, passes out. And this time when they're puking and passing out is the most euphoric feeling they've ever felt in their life. Wow, that sounds like a free man. It sounds like a free person. It's not compassionate to tell people, oh, go ahead, do what you want. It's your own body, it's your own life. And that thing absolutely actively fucking hurts them. It doesn't even have to be drug use. Just look at runes. That's literally what our society is doing. It's like, hey guys, do this. You'll feel much better. They do it and then they fucking kill themselves because no, it doesn't. Yeah, I think yeah. this all speaks to the fact that everyone should eventually grow out of being a libertarian. So I, don't, true. I don't think so. Are you a libertarian? Time. Not a libertarian, not necessarily. I do believe uh, that there's... Uh oh. Come on. Uh -oh. I... I he's a libertarian. Were... He's a libertarian. I never said that, okay? I never said that. I believe... That... It's hard to quantify what I believe, honestly. It, it depends it's on what, to... whoever I'm fucking I mean... talking to. Whoever you don't need to put a school. label on it. That's kind of cringe. This is the number one reason to convert to Christianity is that you control people to the like brink of death and actually be morally justified in the eyes of god bro just you tell them you hate the antichrist and they dating. get mad tell them you yeah, hate yeah. the antichrist and all they you, actually and all get fucking angry <laughs> they're like yeah, you go, oh, stop saying you hate the antichrist yeah, you're like, like, yo 
being gay is bad. Hey, watching porn will send you to hell. And watch how mad these people get. These people <laughs> will freak out. And that's honestly, that's the best part of being a Christian. <laughs> Going to heaven, maybe that's secondary. Number one, that's <laughs> <laughs> the atheist desires so of the flesh. Yeah, I really don't get atheism, and I don't get why they they're like so hung up on like morality. Being an atheist to me though, it just seems like such like an irrational retard monkey okay. G-Man Obunga position. So you just look at the way atheists talk, or like any human being talks, right? All the words that we use to describe the world are filled boiling over pouring over spilling out with just religious language you don't even believe a god exists but you're going to say like there's value there's morality there is good and evil it's like how can you even say that they don't believe that there's any objective value in the universe but yet they believe in morality like what why did we come up with religion why did we come up with the idea of a god because like yeah i think like we're evolved and there's nothing about like us that needs to be the way that it is right like it everything's a social construct that we've constructed in the atheist worldview right so how did the idea of religion come about did some guy just like make up a lie if so they made up a lie why is it that that has become like an such an integral part of the human species that you cannot find a single human civilization that is without a god why did we make it up if there is an objective morality that you can observe in nature right which there definitely is like for example, most people agree on like what beauty is. Like I'd say virtually everyone agrees on like what beauty is, what yeah, probably, value yeah. is. Like 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 we believe that a vibrant color is more valuable than like gray. And like everyone universally believes that. And then we believe that like a living thing that like grows is more valuable than an inanimate object, right? And we believe that a living thing which is conscious is more valuable than something that's not conscious, right? And it's like, so if there's like an objective moral hierarchy in the world, then that proves that nature is ordered, that the universe must have a consciousness that is like constructing things in such a way things are being judged. Things are being judged on a standard. I don't know if that makes sense. Maybe that's just too schizo. It's too schizo. <laughs> Too esoteric, it's too esoteric.